Well, good evening, everybody. It's Tuesday the 23rd at about 7.30. Anyhow, um, on Friday, I got my engine back and uh, been working on it through the weekend and was delayed in making any videos or taking any pictures because I didn't have a camera. Uh, anyways, no details on the going into why I didn't have a camera. That doesn't matter, but anyway... So the big update is here. The engine isn't completely finished, but it's here. So I'm going to just start doing small updates along here as it goes. So I'm going to cover up the camera, walk you over to the engine. Careful, some of you might faint. This one's purdy. Boom. Look at that. That is a purdy one. Nice side covers on there. Comp cams. Big block Chevy roller rockers installed. Had the head lump ported. Originally, right where you see this bolt here, there was a big column. And it was a round column that stuck in there like this and it went down like that. Anyway, what we do is we cut that out and we install a lump. And I'll see about getting some light. See, there we go. Some light, and you can see down in there. That you, so, you watch my finger, my finger goes down like that. The valve's right there, and what this thing does, the lump, is it creates a downflow, so you get more combustion. So, you get about almost a 20% increase in intake flow, which is really helpful on these. Anyway kind of my detail on the stock dampener and timing cover. Um, and that's the color I painted it. So anyway, yeah, this is the big update. Sorry I don't have any photos of the valves or anything. Um, stock was 172 intake, 150 exhaust. I went to 194 intake, 160 exhaust valves, uh, stainless steel, as you could tell earlier. Um, this thing's been zero decked. It's been bored 40 over. It has those Ross racing pistons in it. Uh, Smith Brothers push rods. Um, stock oil pump. Stock connecting rods that have been balanced. The engine is completely balanced. And yeah, so it's going to get a big old valve cover put on it. Going to have an aluminum thermostat housing, uh, fuel pump block off plate, and all that good stuff. Anyway, really came out beautiful. I gotta say, man, there was about 15 hours. I probably put about at least, oh, about 10 hours worth of work just in the paint job. Um, really worked carefully on this engine. So, there's a little rest in there still. Machinist, I didn't really worry about. That's just the water jack. It's gonna get all covered up anyway. These side covers really pop. I like those. So, Anyway, talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.